Okay, drivers, I got the trainer here and I'm gonna make him talk, so you better listen up. Now talk, trainer. After participating in today's action-packed thriller, you'll be able to identify the seven basic components of a diesel engine cooling system. Describe the design concepts used to cool a diesel engine, including defining the terms thermal shock and heat transfer. You'll also be able to list the seven temperature tips that are necessary to keep your truck from going into thermal, thermal shock. Diesel engines generate heat, a lot of heat, approximately 3,000 to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet, only 33% of this generated heat is converted into usable horsepower. Roughly 30% is discharged out the exhaust system, while another 30% is dissipated through the cooling system, leaving any remaining heat to radiate off the engine. This means that for every 100 pounds of fuel consumed, only 33 pounds is converted into usable horsepower. A typical diesel engine cooling system consists of seven basic components. The radiator, a liquid coolant, water pump, engine oil cooler, thermostat, temperature gauge, which is plumbed near the thermostat, and the fan. Some engines' cooling systems operate differently, but the basic principles are similar on all. A typical cooling system operates with a liquid coolant flowing throughout the system under pressure while absorbing the engine heat and then dissipating it through heat transfer. The coolant flow begins as the water pump draws the coolant from the lower portion of the radiator up through the water pump and then the coolant circulates around the cylinder liners and into the heads. It completes its cycle by passing through the thermostat. At this point, the thermostat acts as a gate, directing the coolant back through the engine until it reaches the correct operating temperature or sends it back into the top of the radiator for recirculation, where the fan either pushes or pulls the air through the radiator to cool the liquid. It has 